Yo, what's going on guys? It's Eric and you know, I'm back with another video. So we all know what's going on right now, you know, with quarantine, school shut down, and I just had a lot more free time on my hands to do whatever I want. So today I just want to show you guys um, a quick edit in Premiere Pro. Alright, so if you guys basically watch any type of basketball edit on YouTube, um, you know, some of them uh, have some pretty cool edits and me personally, I've always wondered how some of the YouTubes, YouTubers have done them. So today, the particular effect um, that I'm going to show you guys how to do in Premiere Pro, it's really simple. It's like the green light, green light effect. So if any of you guys play 2K, you know, you shoot excellent jump shot, green light comes up and in some of the edits, people actually implement that into their edits and it gives it like a whole nother dimension of creativity to it so yeah today um that's basically what i'm gonna go so let's hop onto my computer and i'll show you guys how to edit it oh yeah and before we do that i just want to quickly give credit to um the guy that actually saw this edit on so basically um his youtube channel is called um thunder prod period or thunder productions so basically he basically does a bunch of sports edits and the video where i saw this one was um a mix on Cam Reddish, the uh, the NBA player on the Hawks, and I thought it was super cool. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna plug some of his uh, social medias and his YouTube channel, and I'm probably just gonna display some clips of how the video looks over this. So yeah, let's just quickly get onto my computer. Let's do it. All right, guys. So welcome to my computer. So basically, right now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the effect on my laptop. So basically this clip where I got it from was um, our high school game where Aaron Gordon uh, came to get his jersey retired at our school. Um, I basically am part of this video production club and we shot, we basically shot a basketball game and I created an edit out of his, which I'll show you with like the end of results of everything. So this is where I get a clip. So basically you just want to get a clip of someone like basically sh like um, their entire body in the shot with them releasing the ball and the ball going to the basket obviously because that's the point of the green light animation so basically first first of all you want to import your two clips so basically um, where I got this green light PNG as you can see right here I actually took a separate image that I found online of someone shooting a jump shot with a green light next to it and then I took it into Photoshop and I cut out everything except that separate green light so yeah i'll have the like a download or something for this green light png down in the description below and yeah so basically you want to take whatever clips you want to do this um effect on and the actual image and drag them onto your timeline so here we got the basketball clip as you can see so basically um yeah let's just play it through one time And basically you just want to find the part where the guy's actually shooting, like the important part of the clip where you actually want it. So yeah, right there, we found it. Where he shoots the jump shot, splash it. So that's the essential part of the clip that we really want. So basically you can just cut off everything up to that point, drag your clip back to the start, and yeah. There, now we have the section of our clip that we want. All right, so I'm just gonna shorten my timeline here so then I can actually see what I'm doing. So yeah, as you can see right here, much better workspace to work with. That's him shooting the jump shot. And yeah, the ball goes in the basket, that's the clip. Okay, so next you wanna take the green light PNG and drag it on to the layer right on top of this video because this is essentially an overlay for the video and yeah, it's an overlay. So just make sure that this actual clip isn't under the video clip or else it will not show up. Like for example, I'll just drag it on top. As you can see, you cannot see it. So make sure that this green light PNG thing is overlaid on top of the video. So next, as you know, if you guys played 2K before, you want this green light to start where he starts gathering the ball into his jump shot. So like right about here, I would start it. So we can move it over. Right? Starts going into the shot. 
And then right when he ends, goes out of the frame, as you can see where his hand goes out of the frame, this is where you wanna cut the other part of the green light effect. So yeah, as you can see, step one, ready done. We already got our specific part of the timeline that we want to put this effect onto. And all we have to do now is basically keyframe it. So basically we're gonna animate this green light to move along with his hands and expand so it looks like it's actually him shooting a perfect jump shot, just like in the video game. So yeah, let's get on to keyframing. So basically first what you wanna do is basically, yeah, as I said, find where he starts gathering the jump shot. Then you wanna double click onto the thing, green light image, make sure you have the layer selected and move it over to the left side. So basically if you have a clip where it's the person shooting on the right side of the court, basically we can do, go into your effects panel right here, search up horizontal flip and just drag it on to your video. See, as you can see, it flips it, done. If your guy's on the right side of the court, shooting it from the right side of the court into the basket. I just said that twice. But anyway, since my guy's on the left side of the court, I obviously want it to be, yeah, like this, however I have it. So basically, yeah, we have it sized correctly. So basically what we wanna do now is keyframe this to actually make it look like the green light's expanding. So basically right now, just wanna, uh, hold up, effect controls. So basically, as you can see, Right now, just shrink this um, green light thing until like it's basically at a point where you can't see it anymore. Then you're gonna want to go up into your top left corner, go to effect controls. And the two things that we wanna start a keyframe on is scale and position. So basically you're gonna set two keyframes um, for both of them. So basically you wanna click on the clock icons right here. And as you can see, we have our keyframe set. So basically what this means is like, it tells that as you adjust the size of this actual green light thing, it's gonna move along with the video and create it proportionally so that it isn't jittery when it um, expands. So yeah, let's do that right now. So basically what you wanna do is find, just basically move the green light along with Basically now you're just gonna move it along. Go slowly, start moving it. Whoops, my bad, let's go back a bit. So yeah, basically you're just gonna start moving the green light, right, and expanding it as if he's actually shooting the jump shot. So yeah, right here, as you can see, this is where you want the green light to be at full size. Um, so basically we're just gonna change it and expand it. So yeah, that's basically it. So as you can see, if we're gonna play the clip back, right? You can already see it starting to take semblance of what we want the actual effect to look like. Um, so yeah, next you just wanna I mean, you can like change this to your guys' like whatever your liking is. Um, I'm just doing this quickly to show you guys. And basically after he shoots the jump shot, as you can see it's being left behind. So you just wanna slowly move it along with the clip. To make sure that it's like natural, right? You don't want it to look weird. Cause he still shot the jump shot, right? So you wanna Keep the green light moving along until it's fully out of the frame. Yeah, as you can see. Basically, you can just cut the clip early right here, honestly. Cause, yeah, just like that. And that's pretty much how the effect's gonna look like. But obviously, you know, um, the actual color, 
of the green light isn't quite there. So I'm gonna do my best, obviously it's green, to make it seem like it's sort of white and then it's changing over to sort of a green color. So, uh, what I believe I did. <sighs> so yeah, let's flip it. Anyway, I'll just play back. As you can see, that's the green light effect. You basically have the green light on top of it, as you can see. Um, but yeah, there's like a few other things where you can change to make it seem more like it's the actual, I think the brightness, you can search. Yeah, brightness and contract, exactly. Here's, here's where it is. So you wanna take this effect, go to your effects panel on the right side, search it up, drag and drop it onto the actual clip. And yeah, so right now we can actually create um, keyframes for brightness and contrast. So basically just head over here for brightness. So I'm just gonna fiddle around honestly and see how that changes. So perfect, exactly. See right here. Um, so basically you just wanna set a keyframe for brightness right here. And you just wanna turn it uh, you just want to turn it all the way up. As you can see, as we turn the brightness up, it turns wider, right? So basically, once it's at its peak of his jump shot, we obviously want it to turn green. So right here, once again, we're going to turn the brightness back down to zero so that it's green, right? But the thing is, we don't want it gradually getting greener as the jump shot goes, because as you know, in 2K, it only actually greens right when the release is finished. So basically, we're just gonna go back. So go right before where it changes to zero, as you can see right here. And you just wanna go like one frame or something, or maybe two frames back, and just set it back to like around 75, 77% something like that so then it can slowly look like it's turning green and then as you can see once he releases it it's green done that's the effect so basically you know you can combine this effect with a bunch of other effects um to basically string together an actual basketball edit and yeah that's basically my video so right after here i'm just going to show you my completed basketball edit and hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial thanks see you guys in the next one